To get started, we're going to navigate to the GitHub page. And on this page, we're going to be downloading two things. First up, we're going to click this code button and click download as zip. Save that wherever and then extract it. I'm on Linux, so I'm going to use the command line. You probably have your own tool on Windows. Okay, we have that zip extracted. We're going to go back to the GitHub page now, find the latest release. Scroll down, you'll see some more zip files. Just download the one for your operating system. So I'm, I'm going to download the Linux version. And you want to save this and extract it into the same folder you just extracted. So it's Netfab Master. Just save it there. Go ahead and unzip it. And then you should end up with all these files then. Now let's build an example. So we're going to go to the examples folder. We have this big list, but we want the platformer one. So click on that. And these are all the files used to build this game. So we have some graphical files, and then we have some source code files. We also have this .cfg file. Now a .cfg file, you can open it up in the text editor. A .cfg file is kind of like Nestfab's build scripts. It tells you like how to assemble all these files into a game. So here it lists all the different source code files as input lines. We have an output line which tells you what it's going to produce. It's going to produce a file called platformer.nes. It's got a mapper line which tells you the type of cartridge. It's got a nestfab dir which tells you where the nestfab executable is located. Anyway, to compile this example, all we have to do is we have to pass this .cfg file to the nestfab executable. Using the command line, we're going to type nestfab for the executable, space, and then we're going to put, pass in the .cfg file. So nestfab space examples slash platformer slash platformer.cfg. And then hit enter, it runs. That's it, you just compiled it. If you're on Windows or you don't like using the command line, another thing you can do is you can click and drag this .cfg file and you can drag it onto the nestfab executable. And that click and drag action, it should do the same thing where it compiles the .cfg file. So now that we compiled it, we should have a .nes file in this folder. You can see right here, platformer.nes. If you run it, look at this. We have our example compiled, the little game.